Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how you can send a HTML formatted table in email via Power Automate. So many a times there are scenarios that you will be sending uh, email notifications to the end users or business users to your customers while working in Power Platform and spe specifically in Power Apps and Power Automate. So during that time, you would like to uh, send the email in a very good format instead of maybe a simple email with no formatting. But in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can format that email in a very good way so that it looks very nicely formatted within the email body. So in this video, what we are going to see is that we will send the formatted HTML table in email to the users. So first, we will read the records from a SharePoint list and we will create HTML table in Power Automate flow using the create HTML table action. After that, we will see another operations, data operations select, which allows you to format the headers within the email body. And then we will see how you can format date or choice fields within the Power Automate while sending the email. So all these things we are going to see in this video. Stay tuned till the last of the video, till the end of this video, and let's see this in action. So I am in the Power Automate studio. And here I have created the flow. First, I will show you the SharePoint online list. This is the SharePoint online list, which I'm going to refer the issue tracker list, where we have the column issue, which is nothing but the title column. I've just renamed the title column with issue, issue description, priority. Priority is you can see it's a choice column. I will tell you in this video that how you can format the choice column while reading this value sentiment and sentiment score so this is basically a list which i'm going to use in this video in the power automate flow so first of all i'm using the actions to get all the items from the sharepoint list so i'm using the action get items i am passing the site address and the list name definitely you can use the o data filters to filter the query you can use the top count and stuff like that but in this video i am not doing all those things because the main purpose of this video is show you show you that how you can create a very good well formatted email body using html table so i'll start directly with that there is an action called create html table so when you click on plus add action you will find in the data operation there is an action called create html table the moment you add that action in your flow it will ask you from from where you want to read the data so here i am passing the value the output of the get items action in my flow then it asks for the header and the value. So header, I am just passing issue title, description, priority, sentiment, created date. Now here, one thing you have noticed that it does not allow me to give any spacing between the headers. So when these headers will be created in the email, they might not look nice for you because there is no spacing. So that's where we will see another alternative, another option by using select that I will come later. Here issue title, I am passing the title, issue description, issue description, but priority. Please remember this priority is a choice column in my SharePoint list. If you pass just the priority column directly, it will not look in a very nice formatted uh, format. It will not be formatted in the output of your email body. Sentiment is sentiment, just the uh, column SharePoint list column. Now create a date. For date, you should always use format date time expression, a dynamic expression, and then I am just passing a a format of the date in which I, I would like to see the date, which is m hyphen d uh, slash y y y. All right. Once this is done, so you have formatted the HTML table in this way, and then they, you can send the email using send an email action in Power Automate. Here I'm using to subject, and this is the most important thing the styling part. So I am using just one styling, just uh, you can say a styling which I have used, and just in the paragraph of the email body, I am passing the output of the HTML action. So now let's run this flow and let's see how we can see the output. I am just testing this flow now. I'm just click on manually test. It will run the flow. It will create the HTML table using this flow. And this flow uses this following connectors. I'll click on continue. I'll click on run flow. And what will happen, an email will be triggered with a nice formatted output in the email body. All right. 
So this is the output which we have received. You can see the output that this is the output which we have received using this flow. All right. Issue title, issue description, priority, sentiment, and created date. You can see very well that the priority is exactly the priority which is there in the SharePoint list. We are getting the value of the choice column, not the ID or anything else. We are getting the value basically. And the date is also very nicely formatted in M slash D date slash year. All right. This is one of the way. But here only one issue which I see uh, in this formatting is the header. The header of the table in the header of the table you can see that the no spacing in there which sometimes does not looks good so what we can do now uh, apart from this what we can do is now that we can use another action a data operation select now when you select when you use the select action in power automate flow it gives two options from and map and in the map you can present your key and value and here you are able to pass the key with some spacing all right. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use the output of this select and I'm using a HTML table action again where I'm using the output of this select. Now, in the email body, instead of passing the HTML output from uh, the one where the headers have no spacing, let me pass it from the way from the place where we can pass the pass. Uh, we can pass the spacing in the email body header. So let me save this flow. I'm just saving this flow and then we will test this flow again to see the output. Second output, this flow is getting saved. And what is the only change which I'm going to show is here. Everything will remain the same. I'm going to just test this flow again and we'll show you that how you can very well format your uh, table headers as well with uh, by using select operation. All right. So now a mail again will uh, trigger the same email will trigger. But this time you will see the uh, uh, headers are very well formatted with some spacing. So you can see issue title and issue description and why only two columns it is showing because you can see in the flow when I use the select, uh, when I use the select, I only passed basically two columns. So uh, that's all in this video. In this video, I showed you that how you can create a very well formatted HTML table and how you can send that in an email by using the style tags, you have to use the style tags at the top and close the style tag at the bottom in the email body. Thanks for watching this video. Keep watching. Thank you.